Hi guys, welcome to part two of uh, the WhatsApp Assistant uh, dashboard. Um, for guys who are just seeing this video, I've not seen the first version. I would highly recommend you guys see the setup of the WhatsApp Assistant so that you guys get more perspective as to what's going on here and how we got here. So yeah, now that we are on the dashboard, so hopefully that was easy setting up the account. Uh, that took some time on the video, but actually takes just a few minutes uh, for setting up your dashboard. Uh, as you can, and as I mentioned, uh, so there's the live chat part where you can click on this button to open the live chat. And this is the mobile version of the same. Uh, and you can get to that by scanning this QR code. Uh, automate is again where I told you, you have the FAQs, the greeting messages, the away message and the BRB messages that you can set up. And account and settings is where you can share this link with anybody who wants to message you on your number uh, to invoke your business and this is where you can set up your number and otherwise you can just leave it as is. Um, so now I'm just going to click on the, the button that opens the live chat panel. So uh, this is the customer support panel. Uh, looks a lot similar to how WhatsApp web looks and so we try to keep the same experience, uh, keep the same sort of philosophy and the chat design uh, close to that. So people still get a flavor of WhatsApp. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and message uh, this number first. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and click this link. Uh, it opens up the standard uh, messaging that comes from WhatsApp. Do you want to send this message to this number? And this is the invocation message and this is the assistant name if you guys remember, right? So I just hit send. Uh, this will open the WhatsApp web version that I have set up. Um, it takes a couple of seconds. And starting chat. And as you can see, WhatsApp sandbox is how I saved this number. Uh, and proxy WhatsApp's demo is already pre filled. So I just need to hit send. And once the message is received, how you get a welcome message saying now you're chatting with this um, the assistant name and then you get the hi there which is our welcome message and as you can see my number has just now prompt up here on the chat okay so uh, i'll take i'll walk you through this a uh, little slowly what we have here is the live chat button which uh, which you can turn on and off if you want to talk to someone so here's the where's here's where you chat but we kept this specifically to if you want to really chat so just don't want to leave it accidentally on so when you turn this on, you can type something to the customer, right? And when you turn this off, you can't. Um, so now on WhatsApp, if I ask the business, um, like where are you located, right? So again, I should ideally get a response. Our address is 101 Main Street. And if you recollect, this is an answer from right here and this is one of the variations that came up right uh, now one cool thing I wanted to show you was so now if I turned on live chat right and I wanted to message user but the I got a query from the user again saying how can I contact you right so I I got this message and now I have some suggested responses because this matches some RFAQs, right? So our number is so and so. So what we have here is something called the best response and some variations of those responses. And those are nothing but your responses that you have set up here. So again, if you see our responses, our number is whatever, or there's another variation of it. So we're just showing the variations at the next best responses. Uh, but essentially those are the suggested responses matches. So now you don't have to really type out each answer. You can just click. It gets populated in the in the message box and then you just hit send. So the message goes and then there I have the message right here showing up. Right? So that's easy to use. It's very basic. It's very simple. The conversation is right here. All right? So uh, all the chats which show up here, uh, if number of customers, 
uh, keep getting added uh, and you could switch between the customers right here. Um, what we have also is something called filter by chat statuses. So what as you can see there are four statuses broadly that we have we've categorized our chats into. There are chats which are responded to automatically right. So either the bot responds or the customer agent responds uh, or your staff member or you uh, reply to the customer and so that customer is in response status. There is another status called unanswered where a customer asks something that the the assistant does not know the answer to uh, and it's something that you have haven't gotten back to the customer with so at least it stays in the unanswered unanswered state so you can filter by all the unanswered and then try to answer all these queries uh, there's an indicator right here which tells you what state is in so right now this is in responded and that indicator is even here when you start switching between customers you can see all their statuses there when you start typing so I can show you that you can see this blue uh, icon that comes so if I put my cursor here and start typing as you can see it's blue uh, in the typing status so you, now you know how many agents or how your staff members are typing to this customer are being responded to because what this link or this agent panel that you have here is a uh, sort of common to all your staff members and to multiple people who are running this customer support uh, tool. Uh, so let me just go back to the dashboard for a second. As you can see, uh, this link when you is shareable with multiple staff members. So ideally, if you are not able to be on customer service duty or not able to respond to custom agency, other staff members or other business owners can actually respond. The only thing that we have in this first version of the product is that we have just one um, version. Um, that is, there's no separate rooms or you can see chairs for different agents or staff members which probably will be coming out uh, in, the, in the next releases uh, next month or so. So that's something that we're working upon but again uh, in a very basic way you can you can add notes for each customer so I can add a note for this customer that uh, premium customer or something like has paid or something like that. I can have a note. Or you could even say handled by, handled by Vinay, right? So these are things that if you put it right here, there's a note here. So this customer is already handled. These notes are free to free form text that we can so businesses can use and how they want to. You can also change the customer's name here. So you can say this is John Doe, right? But don't worry, you don't lose the number because here you always have the number of the customer. So I mean, you can give a na name to the customer if you find out during the conversation, but essentially you can change the name and you have the number here. Uh, we have something called tags, which we're gonna, which you can add right now, but uh, filtering by tags and actually messaging by tags will come in in some future releases. But you can obviously keep adding tags like, like like I said, premium user. You can add a tag here, or let's say pizza orders pizza something like that could be anything you could add tags and all the other customers could also be uh, suggested these tags uh, once they start the conversation with you okay so um, and there's a chat search here so you can search for customers so like again if I search now there's only one cust one customer on the list so it's just going to be our conversation but um, you can search from a, from your list of customers uh, so it's a pretty solid panel that you can have uh, to chat with your customers to see where how their conversations are going. Uh, the suggestions part is very interesting and very powerful to use. You can always go back to your dashboard and you can always keep improving your FAQs uh, such that the suggestions uh, keep getting prompted on and so you don't have to keep typing all your answers or train others to think of answers while the suggestions will just help. Um, the panel also supports rich media conversations so um, you could even send PDFs and images to on the panel so if I just sent for example this image uh, loading file you can see the image here it's a sent and as you can see like on WhatsApp I've received this image so this full uh, message support 
uh, you can have emojis and we're going to be working on some more functionality in terms of emojis and support across even in a dashboard on the messaging so um, and obviously you can this pagination so you can see all your previous messages no message loss um, and um, the last thing I want to talk, talk to you about was notifying agent in terms of filter strategies, right? So this is a period in which when the customer is not responded to, but the agent is being notified that, hey, you can respond to the customer before the BRB message that gets sent up, right? So the customer sends something here, but there's no reply from the assistant, right? This is not matching in user intent. So the customer needs to say something. So it's in the notifying agent mode for about five minutes as we have set up here. Uh, if we don't respond within five minutes, the PRB message will go out to the customers automatically. So if I respond to the customer with saying, hey, how can I help you? Then automatically it just goes in the respond status. As you can see, the customers respond. So uh, that's just a brief overview of the live chat tool. Um, I hope you guys use it, check out all the features, uh, and then you will see that there's a lot more potential to offer and give us feedback on how you like this tool, what improvements you would like to see, etc. Uh, you can catch all your files and media that's all shared here. So it's, it has full rich media support and we really hope you like it. Uh, please do use the tool and it would be great if you guys give us feedback and make this product a success. So thank you all for watching. Um, do write in to us if you have any queries or concerns at devsupport at gupshub.io. You can always find that email address right here. Um, yeah, and hope you guys have fun using WhatsApp as a channel for business. Thank you.